Pisces, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon, I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our weekly reading for April 25th through May 1st. Let's see what's going on with Pisces. At the heart of your reading we have the Magician Reversed and the Two of Swords. Okay, you're trying to make a decision about whether or not to meddle in someone else's business. You know that you have the power to affect the situation, you believe that you could help, but you're not certain they want your help, and so it would technically be like butting in. Show me the challenge. Hanged man in reverse. This could be saying that you think they're not taking long enough to pay attention to something, like they're just breezing past some details where that they should actually focus and learn from and study and analyze. They might be ignoring pertinent information in your opinion. Or they could be in a rut, stuck in a pattern and a holding pattern, and you really just want to kind of like shake them out of this rut. Either way, with this devil at the bottom of the deck when the hanged man came out, you feel like they are like shooting themselves in the foot, metaphorically speaking, like that they are not acting in their own best interest. It's like you can see it and you, you really want to be able to do something about it, but you're not sure whether you should. Your focus, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. This is either saying that you are putting your issues, your own personal life stuff on hold to pay attention to this other person, or this could be what you're seeing in their situation. Um, making bad investments or not tending to their own garden. Like, they might be trying to do something halfway. Not fully committing to something and therefore, like, wasting their efforts. Show me the recent past. Page of Pentacles. Okay, so this might be your child, which would make more sense with the vibe I was picking up because it's like, you have a, how to say this? You have a lot of concern for this person and a lot of belief that it is your business which would make sense for a parent-child relationship. If that's not the case for you, then we might be talking about a lesson that you've learned in the past. And when you're viewing this situation, whether it be like a friend, a coworker, what have you, you're just like dying for them to not have to learn the same lesson that you learned. And you wanna be able to like save them the, the grief or the, misery or whatever that mistake caused you. The benefit was you learned the lesson. Now you're like, do they have to learn the same lesson or can I, can I help them avoid it somehow? 
In the energy of the environment, we have the Page of Cups in reverse, further underscoring that we might be talking about a child in the situation. Um, a, a child... Uh, well, no matter the age of the person, we're getting at someone who is emotionally immature. They, they may make frivolous decisions, like spur of the moment or like whatever they're feeling in that moment. Um, I'm, yeah, not, not able to think about what's going to make them happy tomorrow or an hour from now. That sort of like emotional immaturity. It's like, well, what's going to make me happy in this very moment? And that's all I can do. Not in like the, you know, be here now, live in the present moment. It's, it's more like, um, let me give an example. If you, if someone needs to build their own shelter because they're like, um, you know, building a log cabin out in the wilderness to live in, and this person would like chop down one tree and get tired and say, well, okay, that's enough for me. I feel like sleeping now. And then have to deal with the consequences of like sleeping out in the rain and predators coming at them. And then like, okay, the next day they may... Uh, put two logs together, but then, you know, it's like, sorry, I'm going a, a bit off on a tangent. They, they lack the foresight to know what's going to make them truly happy is completing the thing that they're working on. Show me the near future. Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Lovely. The lesson will be learned and the, who, whoever needs to learn this lesson is going to learn it and level up. Oh, and I'm seeing the connection now to Pisces in reverse, like, hey, don't make the same mistake that I did. Use me as an example holding up yourself as an example to this person. Good things are in store. It's also advocating for, for patience because part of the Wheel of Fortune is it's down to divine timing. This is all happening the way that it's meant to for this person's experience. Not to say that your advice and help isn't an intended part of their experience, but t timing is definitely a factor here. Show me surprise energy for Pisces. What is going to impact a situation that Pisces doesn't see coming? Six of Swords, leaving the troubled situation behind. I feel like this is connected to what you want for this person. You want them to either st stop behaving a certain way, stop tolerating a certain situation, get themselves out of a bad situation, get out of their rut, get unstuck somehow. And I think you're going to have an impact. I think this is them heeding your advice taking it seriously and making a, a big change in their life. Show me hopes and fears. Mm, five of cups. Yeah, that, they're, that they'll suffer the same loss or same grief that you had to experience. Five of cups. You're like, listen, person of interest, I had to go through a really tough time because of the way I handled this situation. 
please don't make that mistake again. You're, you're really like seeing their potential future and just it, it's breaking your heart on their behalf. That's why you're so like torn about do I get involved or not? Show me the end result, Nine of Swords. I'm wondering whether this is like the necessary um, impact that your advice needs to have on them. Like the, the wake up call, like, oh, like the, the weight of what could happen, what could go wrong here, what the, the likely next few steps of their path, the way that you see it. Because the Nine of Swords is about like stress, anxiety, could be fear, could be regret. But I'm, I'm actually seeing this as a, 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 an upside. It's like an indication that your, your help, your meddling is gonna land, it's gonna have an impact. The, the turning point for them, however, is like the gravity that it has, the seriousness that it has. It's gonna hit them hard But I think it has to in order for them to change their ways or change, like, change their circumstance, change their behavior. Whatever they need to shift here, it's going to come through, like, a realization of, like, oh, crap, this is serious. And if, they, if they're in a serious situation and haven't been acknowledging it or seeing it, the realization of that is going to hit hard. Show me advice for Pisces. Five of Pentacles reversed. You always have a home with me. If this is a child, I just got that really clear, like clear as a bell, just like if you need somewhere to go, oh wow, I'm tearing up here. Whew. <clears throat> if this fits for your situation and you have a child that you feel like is in a bad situation and you desperately want them to leave, express to them, if this is the case, that they always have a home with you that you would welcome them back with open arms. Let me see if I can, uh, for those of you not in that exact scenario, interpret this advice for a different uh, situation. That they deserve to to be in a place that feels welcoming. They deserve to be in a place that feels like home. That you would encourage them to make the change and you'll be there for them during that period of change. Okay, Pisces, I hope that helped. Enjoy the rest of your week and I'll see you back tomorrow for the dailies. Bye.